Also today, women who say they were drunkenly groped by a former Indiana Attorney General, Curtis Hill, argued, or excuse me, argued that a federal appeals court should let their lawsuit move forward. A lower court judge previously blocked the three women from suing the state for sexual harassment. The judge ruled that the Attorney General at the time had no employment authority over them. The woman's lawyer says the judge's ruling creates a loophole which allows the state to avoid responsibility. Since the allegations, the state Supreme Court has ordered a 30-day suspension on of Hill's license.